With Compound, will your cryptocurrency earn interest? There are two elements to this cryptocurrency. There's Compound, which is Compound Finance, which is in effect the holding company, the idea, the principle behind this cryptocurrency. And there's Comp, which is the coin. Owning the coin allows you to govern, in effect, Compound Finance. Compound is an interesting idea because it allows you to earn interest on your cryptocurrency. It allows you to borrow cryptocurrency. It allows you to lend cryptocurrency. The question is now, when we're gonna take a look at the price, is it expensive or is it cheap? Let's have a look at the chart and see what the chart tells us. What you can see here is the price is about you know, 300, $330 per coin. It traded up to 800, came back down to 350, 330, in, in and around there. The point is it's been something of a wild ride with all these cryptocurrencies. Compound Comp is no different than any of the others. Rather than dwell on the price and try to calculate whether it's expensive, whether it's cheap, let's look at what makes Compound the concept unique in the area of cryptocurrencies. One of the problems in the cryptocurrency space is simply that you put your cryptocurrency in what's called a wallet and there it sits. You might put a gold bar in a cave because it doesn't pay interest, it doesn't earn interest, you can't really lend it, you're not much you can do it, you can spend it. That's, that is something and you can watch it go up and you can watch it go down. In effect, Compound is a cryptocurrency bank in that with Compound, without any loan forms, one can borrow money in the form of a cryptocurrency, and one can lend your own cryptocurrency and, in effect, deposit it with Compound and earn, maybe it's not dollars, maybe it's not euros, in the same currency that you've lent to the, to the bank, they will remunerate you with, a, with an implied rate of interest. So you can borrow and you can lend. Now when I say you can borrow from Compound, you can do so on the condition that you have more collateral in the form of a cryptocurrency on deposit with Compound than you're gonna remove from it. So there's a, it's like a margin, trading stocks on margin, trading commodities on margin. This concept, that of, of, of centralized finance, of of interest is what Compound provides for the cryptocurrency world. Can I give you a real world example of how Compound might be used in a trading portfolio? For example, if you wanted to go short a particular currency, you thought it was overvalued at whatever price it was trading at, one could, could sell that currency and you could do it on margin by having borrowed the same money, in effect, from Compound. It's a bit technical, but it's, it's a strategy that if you're convinced a currency is overvalued and you don't want to put up a lot of your own money, in effect, it's like going short the market on margin, and Compound allows it. Again, if, you're, if the stock, if the cryptocurrency goes up, you'll be, your position will be called and you will lose your investment. Compound is a novel idea. It's well executed. I think that the protocols that govern it are, are well conceived. At the same time, keep in mind, this is a non-regulated bank. This is not Chase Manhattan or JP Morgan or any of the other banks that you might have heard about. This is a, this is a cryptocurrency bank and so one day, Somebody may come knocking on the door and saying, you're acting like a bank. You know, you have to be registered like a bank. So there's no deposit insurance. There's no, there's nothing that safeguards the liquidity that normally would go into governing a, any of the global banks that you're familiar with. The compound is an unregulated bank, so to speak, that, that pays interest on cryptocurrency deposits. Doesn't mean that it's a bad bank. There are many well-regulated banks that have done poorly, and there are many regulated banks that haven't done well at all. So that's, that, that's a risk that you have to consider when you, when you buy the, the coin comped and decide you wanna be part of the governance structure. Is it cheap or is it expensive? Beyond, beyond my, my competence to know 
what it is that's driving some of the factors in this. The idea behind compound is novel and sophisticated. That doesn't mean at $330 a coin, it's a, it's a bargain. So be forewarned that there's two sides to any cryptocurrency market. There is the coin, which is in effect the governance that allows you to participate, and then there's the idea. And the coin can trade however it wants to trade. The idea remains either good or bad. That's all the time we have today on The Investment Advisor. I'm your host, Matthew Stevenson, in partnership with Ducas Copy TV. Remember, money can take care of you. It cannot take care of itself.